She's like, you think you saw the best women's MMA KO ever? Hold my beer. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's who she did it to. I know. You know? I know. Dude, she throws bricks. I know. She throws, you know what she's like? She's like a bowling ball on the end of a rope. Yep. Boom. 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 I was just talking with Helwani. We were doing Errol and the Bad Guy on ESPN Plus, but he told me something I didn't know, and I thought, this is kind of a big deal. And the topic of the round was, Amanda Nunes versus Megan Anderson. Is this the end of the 145 pound division? Now, I instantly leaned towards no. When the question came up of, is this signifying then? I'm scratching my head going, where's that coming from? Well, then Ariel talked. Now, here's where this gets interesting is Ariel said, inside information to him, but Megan Anderson, who is challenging Amanda for the title signed at one point in her career a six fight deal this is fight number six and she does not have a new contract or an extension now in the history of the ufc i can never and i mean that literally ever remember a time somebody went into a championship fight not having a contract where is that going to be Megan's very good. Megan's very marketable. Megan's got a very good fan base. She's about the main event for title shot and all of these different things. But it does appear, okay, what's next after this fight? What is next? Why wouldn't that be extended? If you got a top contender here and she isn't having signals that she's going to be around because of the weight class, then the question is very fair, which is, is 145 going to go away? 